All right, imagine soaring above the traffic during your commute. Well, this week, an Aleph Aeronautics Model A became the world's first flying car to receive FAA flight certification. It has a $300,000 price tag. The Model A is all electric. It has a 200-mile driving range plus a 110-mile flight range. Production expected to start in 2025, intended to be delivered shortly after. The company is also developing a four-person Model Z, if you're wondering, with a 300-mile flying range. Joining us to discuss this breakthrough uh, in travel, Jim Duchovny, CEO of uh, Olive Aeronautics. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much. Can you explain how the Model A works? Um, how can it be driven on roads and then leap into the air? Sure. So all the flying car um, works as a regular car, as a regular electric vehicle. It's 100% electric. Uh, you can drive it on the car as you would drive any car, and then it vertically takes off. It vertically takes off because there is a DEP, distributed electric propulsion, which means eight uh, separate uh, propulsion systems which can give you up in the air. Once it's up in the air, that's a video which you're showing right now, it rotates on its side because it needs wings um, as an air structure. So the uh, passenger side becomes the top wing and the driver's side becomes at the bottom wing. And that's how it flies. That being said, you're more than welcome to drive vertically up, um, fly forward and then take down without uh, any turning at all depends on your use case scenario. Um, the reason you need to tilt is because if you need a range, if you need to go long distance, like more than 100 miles, you probably want to go in an airplane mode. So you don't if have, you to, you don't to, have to fly sideways. You don't have to fly sideways, but uh, exactly as in CGI uh, holds, basically what you'd want to do is want to skip traffic, you want to skip uh, any terrain uh, which is on your way. The idea is you want to not get stuck in the traffic. I'm, I'm just, I'm just trying to understand, because obviously this is such a novel concept. I'm looking at these images and it looks like the car is, is really on, on its side, moving through the air. Am I like this as I'm flying the entire time or am I upright as, as I take to the sky? That's a good question. That's a good question. So the cabin itself is uh, tilting. So you're always sitting parallel to the ground, always, right? Okay. So when the car is tilting, you are not. That is good news for those of us who are severely motion sick already in a car. <laughs> that's good to know. Yeah, um, that's definitely good news. Moreover, you're probably more stable than you in a car because it's a gimbal cabin. Okay. It's a similar to the device where you have like in your camera, right? Sure. Which means you're absolutely perfectly stable. When can we expect these on the road? That's a good question. So first of all, just clearing something. So we got the very limited uh, certifications for very limited uh, purposes and very limited areas where we can use it, that's number one. Number two, it's a precursor to Model A, which got certified. So there may be still a while until everything is going to be approved and it's going to be on your road. We hope to start production in 2025, um, hopefully something in U.S., maybe outside U.S., but this is what we target. Um, it all depends on a lot of, it all depends on engineering, on legal, uh, on many different factors. But we're trying to get it to you as soon as possible and making sure it's safe and good. I hear that. And, and we're almost out of time. But very last question, will you need a pilot's license for this, just a regular driver's license? How does that work? The short answer is we don't know. The <laughs> Probably you will not, because if you can tell, and not a lot of people can, between the right, left, up and down, it should be good. Okay, Jim Duchovny, we appreciate your time. Thanks so much for joining us. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.